Yeah. Austin Brace Gabe. Well, of course she did. Oh. We good? And now, Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber presents Climber Sherman Panama Wolfpack Baseball play-by-play -play coverage on the Channel 989 Sports Stream at channel 989.org. This broadcast is presented by J. Edwards Insurance in Panama and Jamestown, Mosier Carpeting and Climber, Land Pro Equipment and Climber and Falconer, Catfish Pallet and Wood Services in Climber. And good morning. Wolfpack fans, and welcome to Breakfast with the Wolfpack as CSP takes on the Maple Grove Red Dragons this morning in a league game that uh, here in uh, Bemis Elementary School, and we're getting started right away. So first batter of the game is Austin White in his traditional leadoff spot, and he's going to look at strike number one. Today on the mound for Maple Grove is Nash Luther. Nash Luther. There's a ball inside. We got a great view of the strike zone today, we, Kyle. We do. We have a great view of the strike zone, and hopefully those that are watching on Facebook Live have a great view of the field today. We got our Mevo camera back working. I'm kind of glad we didn't have this view the other night against Brockton because I'm afraid that guy was at a different <laughs> zone than we like. Yeah. One ball and two strikes to the CSP leadoff hitter here in the top of the first beautiful Saturday morning here in Bemis Point. There's a ball it's inside. It's going to be a wet ball. Yeah. Two balls and two strikes. This field looks like it held up pretty good after all the rains we've had. Yeah, I think this area um, does stay pretty. A lot of gravel ground here. Pretty here. dry. And there's a ground ball to third base. Third baseman is going to come up throwing and good scoop at first base by McPherson. And that's out number one for the Wolfpack. And that's going to bring number two hitter to the plate, Bryce Hinsdale, playing first base today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just had somebody from the crowd tell us that the golf course behind us is the dr driest golf course in Chautauqua County, Kyle. So yeah. that's why this field is dry and ready to go today. Well, I think the weather, at least through Monday or Tuesday, is supposed to be nice. That ball is high in and outside, outside called for a strike. So one ball and one strike to Hinsdale. One out here in the top of the first. There's a swing and a miss for strike two. One ball, two strikes. CSP looking for their first base runner of the inning here. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. So we don't see that happen very often where Bryce Hinsdale goes down swinging, but usually pretty good contact hitter. But that's going to bring Gabe Roth to the plate with two outs here in the top of the mm -hmm. first. CSP defeated Maple Grove. A couple weeks ago, right, Pat, over in Climber? Yeah, when Maple Grove came out and scored five in the first inning. 
And there's a ground ball to the shortstop, and he's going to make the throw over to first. And so it's a one, two, three inning for the Maple Grove Red Dragons. And after a half inning, no score here in Bemis Point. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSB Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit StandUpToCancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back to Bemis Point, New York, where the CSP Wolfpack are battling the Maple Grove Red Dragons. And after a half inning, it is no score, 0-0. Zero, zero. CSP goes 1-2-3 in the top of the first. And that's going to bring our defensive unit out to the field. And today on the hill, Tate Catneys gets the start, sophomore out of Panama traditional defensive lineup for the most part for the Wolfpack today. Grant Lictus behind the plate, Bryce Hinsdale at first, Trent Burchanowski at second, Austin White at short, Gabe Roth now manning the hot corner at third, Dylan Michael in left, Blake Copta in center, and Caden Beckrink in right. And today's starting pitcher for the Red, Red Dragons Nash Luther is going to lead it off here in the bottom of the first. CSP a couple weeks ago with an 8-5 to five victory over Maple Grove in Climber. CSP down early in that game, Pat. 5-0. Yeah, yeah. nothing. And yeah, Maple Grove came out in that first inning and scored five on us. And they fought, CSP fought back nicely. One here, two here, three here, so... We won yep. that game 8-5 nicely, but uh, need to start out better than that today. Yeah. First pitch to Luther's with the ball outside. And there's stri called strike on the outside part of the plate for strike one. One ball and one strike. I like this infield we have here today. I think it's a very strong infield. Yeah, it's a good infield. There's a curveball that buckled Luther, but just on the inside part of the plate. So two balls and one strike. <laughs> and there's a ball two. inside strike two. part of the plate that's a strike. So two balls and two strikes. Throw him a dark one here, Tate. Make him twist up. There it is. Yeah. And there's a ground ball to Austin. It's short. He comes up throwing, and Bryce stretches and makes the play at first. So one out for the Wolfpack, and that's going to bring McPherson, big first baseman, to the plate for Maple Grove. A 
I believe this young man hits the ball a long ways yep. if he gets a hold of one. Seward the other night against someone, he had a solo home run in the first inning, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. Yeah, nice pitch there by Tate to get uh, ahead in the count, no balls and one strike. If I remember correctly, Kyle, this first four or five batters of this team really hit the ball well, Yes, they, they do. There's a foul ball right back at us. Four strike two, so Tate up early here. No balls and two strikes on the number two hitter for the Red Dragons. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. That ball's in the dirt. Throw down to first, and that is strikeout number one of the game for Tate Catneys, and that's going to bring Cold. number 18 McCall to the plate. Big left-handed pitcher for Maple Grove, who two days ago picked up a nice win against Casadega Valley. He threw a complete game, didn't he? He did, yep. So we will not see him today. There's a ball just low. Ball one. That's nice. That always helps your, your pitching corral when you get one can throw a complete game. That leaves a few yeah. extra in, in available for you. Yep. There's a curveball outside of the strike zone that McCall chased, and so it's going to be one ball and one strike. Traditional depths on the defensive side for the Wolfpack. Here's the 1-1, one -one and that is a curveball that really – <laughs> bailed him <laughs> out, and that's a strike. So one ball and one strike. Oop. There's a high fastball that got away from everybody. Two balls and two strikes. Tried to put a little extra on that one, I think. Yep. What did you say it was, two and two, Kyle? Two and two. Okay. <laughs> oh. There's the ball low and outside, so full count here to McCall. Let's get him to chase that. That's what I think what his plan was there. And here's the payoff pitch, and that's a ground ball oh, to second. Check. Oh, great Trent play by Trent. a great Trent. play, and there he throws it away after. It's all right. Hold yeah. it, wet ball, wet ball. So that was a great was play a by Trent. Tr great play by Trent Burchanowski at second to make the stop and then uh, had an errant throw trying to get him at first. So that's going to advance uh, on the infield single. That's going to advance McCall to second. So... The Red Dragons with two outs here in the bottom of the first have a runner in scoring position, and Brisky is going to come to the plate. Nothing hurt there, Kyle. Just Back get this stopping the Red Dragons today behind the plate. Get this third out and go in and hit the ball. Good stop by Grant. Way to stop the ball over there, Grant. That was a good play. One ball and no strikes. There's a nice pitch. Uh, good Ooh, we call good it a pitch ball. just below the knees for hmm. ball two. So two balls and no strikes to the cleanup hitter for Maple Grove. There's a swing and a miss for strike one, so two and one. There it is. Big curve. And there's Out of play. A Under the foul golf ball course. out uh, down the first base side. Ooh, that's going to be a tough shot off from underneath that tree, Kyle. You're going to have to use a wedge. <laughs> 
foot wedge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two balls and two strikes to Brisky. Maple Grove with a runner on second with two outs. Yeah. Uh, there's Ooh. a ball right across the plate, but low below the knees for ball three. So wow. second straight batter that Tate's gone full count on. There's strike right down the middle heart of the plate yeah. for strike three. So Maple Grove strands one, and after one, we have a score of no... Zero, zero. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone and Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Clymer. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball here on Channel 98.9. I'm Kyle Hinsdale, joined by my partner, Pat Katniss, and we're happy to bring you Wolfpack Baseball on a beautiful Saturday morning here in Bemis Point, New York. And after one inning, it is no, sc there's no score on the board. CSP went one, two, three in the top half of the first. So we're going to bring batters four, five, and six to the plate. I heard that uh, Trenton, a bunch of the guys weren't real happy with their hitting after the Brockton game, so they went to <laughs> yeah. Clymer and hit some more after yeah, that. Yeah, I got, I, got I got home from Sherman uh, after we played Brockton, and Bryce's truck was not in the driveway, so I said to my – wife i said uh, where's bryce and she said he's down at the baseball field with a bunch of them hitting hitting baseball so they said take me over I said no i'm not going back <laughs> out in this crap yep. yeah because it wasn't very nice yeah. either yeah but uh, we'll see if uh, eventually this that'll pay off so so trent burchanowski the number th four hitter for the wolfpack steps to the plate And that first pitch is a ball, so one ball and no strikes. <laughs> and there's strike one, one and one. The one nice thing about being over here, Pat, from a broadcasting standpoint and from a video standpoint with the Mevo that we have, it gives a great view for those that watching from home it gives them a great view of the field pretty much can see the entire thing and uh, seeing every pitch uh, this morning so that's uh, that's good yeah, it's a beautiful day yeah I would say I'm I think when it. I got out of the car it was 50 mid to upper 50s and there's a ball in the dirt 
Even though I'd still have parts of my lawn that I couldn't mow last night. Cause yeah, I tried to do that, and I <laughs> had a flat on my front tire. Uh -oh. And uh -oh. that became, that turned into a real circus, as everything that I try to do mechanically <laughs> turns into a real circus. <laughs> yeah, we got Never have the right tools. Never Ooh. goes like they show on the YouTube. There's a ball low for ball four, so CSP gets their leadoff runner on the bases with a walk to Trent Burchanowski, and that's going to bring starting pitcher Tate Catneys to the plate. So he can help himself a little bit here by knocking runners around. Be interesting to see if we test the catcher first thing this morning. Yep. I think it's the same catcher they had in Climber, and I thought, from what I remember, he had a pretty good arm, so. Trent's got a lot of speed at first. Yeah, that was taking quite a while, Pat. So Tate wanted to back out. Well, like I said, these two have played together quite a bit in travel baseball, so they're yep. going to play a little head games with each <laughs> other, I think. Nash has spent a lot of time on the mound. Tate said timeout. So. And there's check. Throws back to check on Trent in safely. So CSP with the leadoff runner here after a walk. Looking to do some damage. Trent with a fairly good sized lead at first. And there's a ground ball to short. And they're going to be, he's safe. Oh, oh he boy. called him out. Wow, that was That's terrible. Uh, that was a terrible call. Sorry, folks. I don't yep. mean to be that way, but that so they terrible. called him out at second. I think that was highly questionable, but they called him out, so they got the lead runner, and that's out number one of the inning. So fielder's choice by Tate, and that's going to bring Grant Lictus. Grant Lictus to the plate. Yeah, that, that young man had to jump to get that ball, and he was off the bag when Trent touched the plate. Yeah, but I actually thought he even beat it. I think you're probably if right. He, yeah, even if he even if it was a perfect throw, I thought he beat the throw. But that's why we're back here, Pat. Right, that's so, right. One out here in the top of the second, no score. CSP with a runner on first. And it's probably a good thing we're not coaching a base right now, Kyle, because <laughs> there would still be a conversation going on. <laughs> Grant Lichtis in and steps into the box. Lots of speed at first with Tate. And there's a ball outside. One ball and no strikes. Grant batting in the sixth spot today. And there's a, there's a strike on the outside part of the plate. They checked Tate at first. We encourage them to continue to try to do that. That ball will eventually make its way to right field, Pat. We've yep. seen that all year in various spots. So one ball and one strike here to Grant Lichtis. And there's a swing and a miss for strike two. So one ball and two strikes. Luther ahead early here in the count. Looking to get out of trouble after a first batter walk. A ball in the dirt. And Tate's, Tate's going to get to second on the uh, what ultimately didn't end up being a pass ball, but Tate's got plenty of speed. Anything that doesn't that gets a little away from the catcher should be a advance for Tate, and it was. So CSP now with a runner in scoring position with one out, two balls and two strikes to Grant Lictus. Oh, and that just hit him in the 
backside. So Grant is going to make his way to first base. Yeah, yeah, he's he's got lictus padding there, which I can say because I have it too. So. <laughs> So runners at first and second for the Wolfpack, and that's going to bring Blake Cope to, to the plate. Senior from Climber with one out here in the top of the second. So CSP's got a little something going. Let's see if we can pay it off. And that ball and Tate. As I mentioned earlier, that ball gets away from the catcher and Tate advances to, to third. So now CSP with first and third. This might put Grant in motion, I would imagine. And I think that first pitch was called a strike. So no balls and one strike. And there goes Grant, and he's going to stand up for a stolen base. So the Wolfpack now with runners at second and third. So base hit more than likely scores two here. And we got a 1-1 count to Blake. CSP back in their white pants today. Looks even better in the sun. <laughs> There's and ball funny, on the outside part of the plate. Funny thing is, Kyle, we've Christy put a new policy in at home. Tate's washing his own pants now. So <laughs> two balls and one strike. <laughs> so he's learning how to soak them, how to spray yep. them, how to do it all. Yep. That, is, that, that ball looks outside to me, Kyle. Yeah, it's, but. it's a good, it's a good six inches outside. But he's consistent with it. So that's two balls and two strikes to Blake Copta. Blake just needs to hit the ball to anything, second or first. Anything to the right side of the field is going to score at least one. Uh, will score one. And it. As a hitter, that's what you need to be thinking about. I want to make contact, and I want to try to place this ball to the right side of the field if I can. And with that second baseman worrying about Grant, that might open a hole right there, yep, too. Yeah, that's right. And there's a curveball in the dirt. So we've got a full count here on Copta. First base open. Drake D. Domenico on deck for the Wolfpack. And that's, that's exactly what he, what he wanted to do. And Tate's teasing him. And that's safe. I and, don't know what uh, Tate was doing there, but I guess it worked out for the best. That was a um, close play at the plate. Tate was slid into slid underneath the tag and that's going to score run number one for the Wolfpack. Kind of put the first baseman in a bit of a difficult spot. He wasn't sure if he wanted to go home or touch the bag and made the decision to go home. And unfortunately for the Red Dragons, no outs in that sequence. So the Wolfpack have first and third. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing there, Kyle, but I guess... Like, I, you know, we've talked before. We got a bunch of athletes, so athletes will be athletes. Yeah, that's he was right. Trying to play a game there, and it worked out for us that time. Yeah. I wouldn't teach that, but. And it was, you got Blake down there. Blake, and I, I'm, I'm sure Blake's going to be moving. He's got good speed. Yeah, so you got Blake at first, and you got Grant at third. And that's going to bring D. Domenico up, who's batting in the DH role for Dylan Michael today, who's playing left field. And Coach Panis wanted to make sure everybody on the infield was on the same page. <coughs> 
One nothing CSP here in the bottom of the or top of the second with one out and runners at first and third. So, oh, that's not good. Yeah, it is. So it might yeah, be. Might be. And here comes Grant at home, and he's going to slide in safe. So everything worked out for the Wolfpack there. And. Uh, Blake caused the uh, the pickle, and Grant took off for home and was able to score. So the Wolfpack advance a runner from first to second and get their second run across the board here in the top of the second. Still one out. D. Domenico at the plate. I think he did that on purpose, Pat? I, I, that very well could be. I mean, it, and it didn't look like Grant, once they got him in a pickle, Grant doesn't hesitate to take no. off. So no, that, I think that might have been a called play might right have called there. called play. I like it. Let's be aggressive. Let's see what we do. We need to get the boys back involved in the game. They weren't too involved the other night against No, they are kind of dead the other night. So I think this is going to help them get themselves more involved in it. There's a swing and a miss, ball in the dirt, and throwing Blake it to got a third. Late jump. And he got him at third. Yeah, Blake he got a late jump. Got a real late jump, and Brisky was able to throw him out at third, so that's out number two of the inning. Much needed out for the Red Dragons. D. Domenico stays in the bat, I think there's two strikes. I think it might be one and two, but I'm guessing there, Pat. Okay. I do know for sure there's two strikes. And there's a swing and a miss, and that's getting back to the backstop. Okay, okay. And a strikeout, but a runner advances to first with a pass ball, and so the inning stays alive. And that's going to bring number nine hitter for the Wolfpack, Caden Beckering, to the plate. Two outs here in the top of the second. We need Caden to break out of his slump he's in, Kyle. He broke out for a few games, and now he's back in it. And yep. I think with all this melee going on, maybe this will get him going. Because <laughs> really, the two runs we've scored, there's not been a conventional play yet. No, you're right. It's all been. You're right. It's it's not, all none been. of them have been a base hit and easily cross the plate. A right? lot of little league stuff going on yep. right now, but that's okay. Small, small ball. <laughs> yeah, but we'll take it. There's a ball low for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Yeah. We'll to Caden Beckrink. Whatever they give us, we'll take it. And there's one right across the plate for strike one. Two in a row there, Caden. He's, he's calling yep. that outside. One ball and two strikes. Just go with it, Caden, and hit it over to left field. That's fine. Just looking to make contact at this point. Man, that ball's outside. Yeah, good, tried to hit that zone again. Good spot for good spot for Luther on that pitch. Just a hair on the outside. Yeah. So two balls and two strikes. Here the CSP number nine hitter. And that ball's low and gets away from Brisky and. Drake stays at first base. I don't think he knew where that ball went to for sure. No. Nope. So full count here to Beckerink. And with two outs, D. Domenico will be running. Luther and Brisky seem to not be on the same signals, just taking a fair amount of time. 
two down, full count. Guy Domenico is going to be running, and there he goes. And that ball is inside and gets to the backstop. And Drake is going to try for third, and he's going to be safe. And he's going to slide in safe. So CSP now with runners at second and third with two outs. So a little two out lightning happening here. And the top of the order is gonna come to the plate. Austin White who grounded out back in the first. Austin's due for a hit, Pat. Yes, that's true too. So two nothing CSP here in the top of the second. Runners at second and third with two outs. And there's a pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Yeah, they said there's gonna get us two more runs. And Drake, Pat, was able to get from first to third because he was running on the pitch um, because of a full count and two Correct. outs. So yeah. uh, good job by Drake just to keep running there. Uh, this backstop, you know, we talk a lot about the backstops at each place we go. This backstop is quite a ways back from yeah, the home plate. This so. might be equal to Casadegas. Yeah. I thought Casadegas was really far back. Yeah, you might be right. One ball and one strike here to Austin. There's a swing and a miss for strike two. So Luther ahead early here, one ball and two strikes. Ball is inside for two and two. Big spot here for Austin if he could get a hit. More than likely scores two with Caden Beckerink with a fair amount of speed at second base. Two balls and two strikes. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. So okay. Maple Grove gets out of the inning. CSP strands two, but not before they score, score two. two runs. And it's two nothing CSP after one and a half. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 989 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 989 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP baseball on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Dream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholish Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at catholishpallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholish Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Wolfpack here in Bemis Point as the Wolfpack have a 2-0 lead over the Maple Grove Red Dragons here as we enter the bottom of the second inning. 
Tate Catney's back on the mound for the Wolfpack here in the second. Five, six, seven for them, Kyle. So Garrett, Regal, Reinhardt for the Red Dragons. And I think we have a first here today, Pat. What's that? Uh, Pam Watrous uh, made a note on Facebook that she's watching from Barcelona, Spain today. Never, I'm not sure we've we can check that <laughs> we can check that off our bingo card. Yeah. I'm not sure we've ever had any international viewers. So, thank Pam for watching this morning. I don't even know what time would it be in Barcelona, Spain, right now, Pat. <laughs> I think they're ahead of us so maybe it's tonight there i don't know maybe maybe pam will let us know there's strike number two so tate up early on garrett playing third base today for the red dragons no balls and two strikes And there's a fly ball to right field. Talk, talk. And Caden Beckering comes in and makes the grab. So out number one of the inning. Good communication there between Trent Burchanowski and Caden Beckering as it was kind of a tweener. And Caden called him off and made the nice grab. And yeah, Trent took off after that. I thought he was going for it. But Caden called him off, which is the right thing to do because he's coming in. Easier to catch it coming in, it is going out. And that's going to bring Regal to the plate. Is this their first left-hander? Yep. That's a ball outside. I'm going to assume that this is Scott Regal's kid. Right. Scott, a climber native. There's a swing and a miss for strike one. I would think that this is probably Scott's youngest kid. One ball, one strike. And there's a foul ball down the that right. One might be on the green. Oh. Left field oh. line. It's in the grass bunker, Kyle. <laughs> oh, that's where I'm in trouble. One ball and two strikes. Oh, yeah, there's a curveball that nice. tried to sneak into the back side and just a hair outside. Ooh. Two balls and two strikes. There's a high fastball. So full count here to Regal. One out in the bottom of the second. Reinhardt on deck for the Red Dragons. I imagine he's going to see the heater here. Yep. Oh, no. And inside. that ball is inside and gets by Grant. So a little cross up there. And base on balls gives the Red Dragons their first runner of the inning. And that's going to bring Reinhardt playing right field today for the Red Dragons to the plate. With one out, we'll see if CSP can attempt to turn two here. You don't see that very often in high school baseball. And there's a ball on, or a pitch on the inside part of the plate. That right off the handle. Reinhardt fought off with the handle. Oh, boy. Ooh. That one was close. That Pat. was very close. Good throw, good tag by Bryce. Good throw by Tate, tag by Bryce. Called safe, so runner remains at first with one out. And <clears throat> just below the knees for ball one, one ball, one strike. 
That's the difference between umpires. I think the other night that was a that would have been a strike. Yeah. But each guy has their own little zone they like to call it in. Yep. And as long as they're consistent, that works. There he goes, and that Grant comes up throwing. And I think they might have got him. Nope. He slides in safe. And that is a stolen base for Regal. And so the Red Dragons get a runner in scoring position. And two balls and one strike to the batter. Good throw there by Grant. Good tag by Trent, just a little late. Reinhardt trying to put down the bunt, and that ball is outside. So Tate behind the, in the count, three balls and one strike. Reinhardt, number seven hitter for the Wolf or for the uh, Red Dragons. There's a strike on the outside part of the plate. That definitely is off the plate, Pat, but yeah. it's been a consistent. It's been a strike for both teams. Yeah. So you're right. Full count here to Reinhardt. And there's uh, a ball high, high. So Okay. Two base on balls here to start the inning. And that's going to bring number eight, Lombardo, to the plate. Playing shortstop for the Red Dragons today. Double play still in play, Pat. Particularly if this ball is hit to third base. Yeah. Touch the bag and throw it to first. And Gabe's got arm enough to do that for sure. <laughs> yes, he does. All right, Maple Grove's got something cooking here in the bottom of the second with one out. And there's a first pitch strike to Lombardo. Two nothing CSP early here in the game. There's a ball right back up the middle. And they're going to try uh, Regal's coming home. And good block by Grant, but he Regal slides in for a run across the plate. So RBI single for Lombardo. And that makes it 2-1 to one CSP. Maple Grove was still one out. Runners at first and second. And the number nine hitter, Osti. I think it's just Ost, I Oost. believe. I believe. Comes to the plate. And there's a good pitch for Tate, strike one. Okay, well, let's get the out here. Preferably at third. Thought they had a shot at. That was a good throw. That was a great throw. And just was in the dirt a little bit. One ball and one strike. And I was watching Regal as he was turning, coming home. He hesitated at third base. Oh, okay. Which made me think even more that it had a shot to get him. But there's a swing and a miss for strike two. So one ball, two strikes. Strikeout here by Tate would be beneficial. There's a swing and a miss. It gets by. He's out. He He's can't out. go. He can't go because there's a guy on first. So there's a strikeout for Tate. It pass ball advances the runners. So Maple Grove's got second and third with two outs here, down two to one. And Luther steps into plate, leadoff hitter for the Red Dragons. Hit a shot to Austin in the first inning. Yeah, starting pitcher, so he can help himself out here with a base hit. Going right to first, right, Pat? Correct, yep. There's a high fastball for ball one. 
One ball, no strikes. And there's strike number one. So one ball and one strike. See if Tate can get out of this. And I don't know where that was, but that looked pretty good. So two balls and one strike. Curveball just missed off the plate. I don't believe it did, Kyle. But <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, low. That ball's in the dirt. So Tate behind three balls and one strike to Luther. Runners at second, third. First base is open. And there's strike two. So full count here to Luther. If you can hit that spot, Pat, and you're getting that call, it's a, it's a very oh. – oh. And Tate just plunked him, so hit by pitch. And that's going to be now bases loaded here in the bottom of the second. Okay. And that's going to bring McPherson to the plate. If you're on the infield and it's kind of in a gap, you want to knock it down at the very least. Right, right. Yep. Any bag here now. Work your way out of this. And there's a ground a ball to, to second, Austin. and that's going to be a Good play to out at second. So Maple Grove strands the bases loaded here in the bottom of the second, but they do cross one. They do, do they they uh, get one across first base and or home plate, and it's two one CSP after two. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 989 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Welcome back to Bemis Point, New York, where the CSP Wolfpack are having a morning baseball game here against the Maple Grove Red Dragons. CSP, after two, leads two to one in a very competitive ball game. And the Wolfpack are going to bring hitters two, three, four to the plate to start the top of the third. Want to congratulate Panama senior Mandy Brink as the Post Journal Girls Player of the Year for basketball. Pretty nice honor. They probably should have had Coach of the Year as well, but I don't get a vote for that one. So. <laughs> All right, Bryce, start us off here now. Bryce struck out, swinging back in the first. See if he can make some contact here. Nice. 
And there's strike one to start the at bat. Gabe Roth on deck. There's a high fastball. One ball, one strike. And there's a ball right at the knees for strike two. So one ball and two strikes. Maybe if you start Bryce with two strikes, maybe that'll get him to start swinging because has a tendency to get behind. And there's base a base hit. hit right back up the middle. So CSP gets their leadoff hitter on. A little single off the end of the bat, but it works. And that's going to bring Gabe Roth to the plate. CSP hasn't had many hits, Pat. I don't know that. Um, no, you're right. Base on balls, fielder's choice, hit by pitch. At hit number one. Um, it might be, Cal. It might be. Check Bryce back at first base. Did not have that big of a lead, but Want to make him honest there, so. Well, that goes back to Thursday night's game, Kyle. Brockton didn't have that many hits either and still scored no, six that's runs. that's right. So. That's what happens when you do walks and yeah. uh, hit by pitch. and. Yep. So there's a first pitch strike to Gabe. Especially when you put them on one inning. That's the problem. <laughs> that's what yeah. happened to us the other night. Yeah. Brockton had five runs across the plate in the fifth inning. I and do believe it, they had two hits that inning. I think they had a double and a single that inning. And there's a foul ball down the first base side. And that's a fairway hit for it's Gabe. A, it's a good drive right there, <laughs> Gabe. <laughs> so Gabe down early, no balls and two strikes. He's got to protect here. And there's a good waste by Luther. Uh, ball outside. One ball and two strikes. Lead off batter for the, of the inning. Bryce Hinsdale at first after a single. And there's a fly ball to center field. Boy, and that's going to land. That's going to drop. And Bryce is on his way to third. And he's going to be in safe. So that is a long fly ball single for Gabe Roth. And that advances Bryce from first to third. So CSP with no outs here in the top of the third have runners at first and third. And I would imagine we'll see Gabe running here, Pat. Yeah, I'm shocked that he didn't go on that throw. Yeah. As aggressive he, as he he's is. Usually, yes. He is usually ultra aggressive, yes. sometimes too aggressive. But Correct. I was shocked to see him not go <laughs> yeah, on that. I agree. And there he goes. Making up for And right there's now. a swinging foul for Trent. So Trent's saying, I'm not going to continue to watch these first pitch strikes. Nope. I'm going to swing. Yep. He should tell some of his other teammates to do the same. Absolutely. Absolutely, because you and I talked about it before. You know these young pitchers want to get that first strike, get ahead in the count. No balls and one strike. I imagine Gabe is on the move again. Oop, that was close. That was close. He was leaning to the He, he was leaning from the steal. He almost got him. He yeah. almost got him. He was definitely leaning, Pat. So, good throw and tag there. Just missed him. And 
And there he goes, and there's a ground ball. And they throw it to first. That ball's in the dirt. Bryce is going to score. So good job by Bryce making, forcing the throw over to first. Ball short hop the first baseman. He was unable to get it. So that's going to be a run across the plate for CSP, three to one. Runners at first and second for the Wolfpack. No outs here. And that's going to bring Tate Catneys to the plate. See if he can help himself here a little bit. And there's a ground ball to third, and he's going to come up throwing, and they get him at first. Boy, that was close. They get him at first, but that does advance the runners. So CSP with runners out now at second and third with one out. And that's going to bring Grant Lictus to the plate. That was very close at first. Yeah, it was. It was a hard hit ball to third. Third baseman kind of bobbled it a little bit, Pat. And with Tate's speed, that's definitely going to make a close play. Who's on third? Grant? Is that? Uh, that's Gabe. Gabe, okay. Yep, so Gabe on third, Trent on second. And there's a ball outside to start this at bat. So I would venture to say a pass ball is going to score Gabe. Yes. Pass ball will score. And if you're Grant, the. Uh, Anything to the right side of the field here is what you're looking to do. Yeah, make contact and turn on this thing. We'll one ball and one strike. Keep your head right on it, Boone. Keep your head right on it, Boone. CSP looking to rebound after a poor performance on Thursday night in Sherman against Brockton where they lost 6-5. to five. One ball, one strike. And nice job by Grant, and that's going to be safe. It's a great bunt. That, that was is a great, a great bunt. bunt. Well done by the CSP Wolfpack, and that's going to get run number four across the plate. A great bunt by Grant, and nice, nice hustle by... Gabe Roth, and he slid underneath the tag. Nash made a great play with that. He gloved it right to the catcher. Yep. So it made it a close play. So first and second, or I'm sorry, first and third now for the Wolf Pack. And uh, one out here in the top of the third, and that's going to bring Blake Copta to the plate. I would imagine Grant is going to take off here. And there he goes, and that going to throw that down. Grant's going to be Grant's going to be out. I don't know what the debate there it was. It took a long time to call it. <laughs> and Coach Moreno does not like that call. So the umpire the base of umpire is explaining the what happened, but either way, uh, it's going to be an out for CSP, but with the throw down to second, uh, CSP runner Trent Burchanowski, who was at third, is going to cross the plate. So Maple Grove willing to give up that. Uh, Maple Grove willing to give up the run for an out there, and that's going to make it five to one. Wolfpack with two outs. Just don't understand why it took him so long to make that call. No, he, he it's like he had to think about it. There's he, no thinking uh, there. He, he stared at him and <laughs> thought about it. Made us wonder what the heck was going on. And Ooh. there's a foul almost hit Coach Marino at third. So One ball, one strike to Blake. CSP leads 5-1. Bases are empty. 
And ball in the dirt. Two balls and one strike. Kind of a weird game, Pat. Yeah. There's a lot of weird things going on here. Uh, and there's a ball in the dirt. Three balls and one strike. Starting catcher for Maple Grove. It's got SATs today, so Brisky, who's behind the plate, typically not their catcher. Darn academics. Yeah. There's a ball in the dirt for ball four. So Blake makes it to first base, and that's going to bring D.H. Drake D. Domenico to the plate for the Wolfpack. Got to love them SATs. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. Saturday mornings. I think I took mine in Jamestown somewhere. Uh, me too. JCC, I think I took mine. And there's a foul ball back behind us. Back in my day, though, Kyle, we had to do it on stone tablets, so it <laughs> took a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. You know, chisel out your answer. Yep. It was only a, it was only ten questions back then because it took so long to chisel them out. And if you if you put your name on, if you chiseled <laughs> your name into the stone, you got you got at least an eighty. Right? And it was readable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah had to be readable. <laughs> so no balls and one strike to Drake after the first pitch foul. Blake Copta at first base after a walk. And there's a ball low and outside for ball one. One and one. And there's a strike on the outside part. One ball, two strikes. Five one Wolfpack here in the top of the third. And there's a foul ball. So Drake making contact at least. Stays alive at one ball and two strikes. You know, we could turn around and broadcast some golf if we wanted to, too, Pat. I think we could do it together here because I haven't seen anybody. Oh, there is yep, people playing That guy right just now. flew the green. He had too much club. There's a ball in the dirt, and that's going to get away from Brisky, and that's going to advance Blake from first to second. Doesn't look like a bad thing to be doing today, Kyle. No. Had I been able to get my lawn mowed last night, I might have been able to golf today, but. I'm thinking the country club might not be busy later this evening. No, they got a tournament today, so today? I thought about maybe going down mm -hmm. later tonight. I think the close, I think mm -hmm. it's closed from till 4.30. Yeah, I and still got to do my lawn. So. Right up the middle, and a nice play by Lombardo. Lombardo at his shortstop position, and that gets the Red Dragons out of the inning where CSP strands one, but they get three across the plate to make it five to one after two and a half. CSP leads will be. Right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. 
Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Paladin Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting in all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Clymer. Online at LandProEquip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Welcome back where CSP leads the uh, Maple Grove Red Dragons by a score of five to one as we enter the bottom of the third. Tate Catney is the starting pitcher for the Wolfpack today. Still on the mound. Pitched two relatively efficient first two innings. Let's see if he can keep that, keep that up. And there's a ground ball foul down the first ba third base line. Number 18, McCall, McCall yep. big lefty, at least from a pitching standpoint. Bats right, pitches left. There's the 0-1, and that ball's low and in the dirt for ball one. Continues to warm up here, Pat, each and every minute this morning. And there's a pop-up, third base side. Gabe able to make the grab out of in foul play. So that's out number one for CSP. I don't know why Pat Gabe took his hat off. <laughs> Maybe those sunglasses work better with, a, with more sun in them. I don't know. That was funny. I guess it gives you two places you could catch the ball when you have the hat in one hand and oh, glove in the other. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Good idea. There's a pitch on the outside part yeah. of the plate for strike one. He's played a lot of baseball, so he has a little inter <laughs> whatever for each play. So Yeah. Whatever he did there, he knew what he was doing. Oh, well, there's a nice little curveball in for strike. Brisky buckled on that one. So Tate up early, yeah. no balls and two strikes. Number four hitter for the Red Dragons. And there's Brisky right stays us. alive with a foul ball. No balls and two strikes. Here's the 0-2 pitch, and good waste by Tate there. Went back to the curveball. Low and outside, good block by Grant behind the plate. Oh, oh. Hold short, on to that short, one a little too long. Short, short arm that one. Two balls and two strikes. Yeah, that one held on a little too long on that. <laughs> uh, there's a good fastball, but high and outside. So after being up 0-2, it's now full count to the second batter of the inning for the Red Dragons. There it is. And there's four straight balls, so 
Maple Grove is going to get their first base runner of the inning, and that's going to bring number 21, Garrett, to the plate. Flew out to right in the, in the second inning. Flew out to Caden Beckrink in the second inning. And Stuck. first pitch. Uh, Stuck in the fence. There's the athleticism of our coach Moreno right there. Hope he didn't hurt himself. No balls and one strike to Garrett. Maple Grove with a runner on first, and CSP checks. He's in safe. There's a high fastball that Garrett was not able to catch up to. So no balls and two strikes. So Tate up early on both batters here. Last two, Pat. And that was a curve ball that curved real late. Almost hit him. One ball, two strikes. And there's a high fastball out of the zone that he swings at for strikeout number one of the inning. So good job by Tate Katniss to get the batter. And that's going to give us two outs here in the bottom of the third, and that's going to bring Regal to the plate. He walked last inning, and I believe he's the run scorer That's correct. for the yep. Red Dragons. There is a swing and a miss for strike one. Here's the 0-1, and that was just above the, the letters for ball one. So one ball and one strike to Regal. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. 5-1 Wolfpack. Runner at first for the Red Dragons. And there's a curveball curve that ball. comes in the backside. Air must be light. Two. The air must be light today. That curveball's got a lot on it. It's got so. a lot of juice yeah, on it yeah. today. Got a lot of juice on it. One ball, what, two strikes. At least that's what I'll tell him. It's because <laughs> of the air. <laughs> and there's a high fastball. So two and two. Be nice not to lose him here, Tate. Yeah. A strikeout or an out. And there's a curveball in the dirt. So second straight. Batter that Tate has gotten to up 0-2 now to full count. So don't want to lose him here. For the fastball right down the middle. And that ball is high and outside. So hmm. okay. two walks, back-to-back -back walks for the Wolf, Wolf Pack. And that's going to bring number 13, Reinhardt, to the plate, two outs here in the inning. He Red Dragons with first and second. And you could could use two more of those right there. Yep. There's strike no, number one. Don't really need to get fancy with this batter. No, I don't just think. get yeah. after it. I think. And there's strike two, so 0 and 2 to the batter. See if Tate can get himself out of this. Oh, 
Here's the 0-2, and that is right down the middle. And so after two walks, Tate does it on his own, gets two strikeouts in the inning. Maple Grove strands two, and after three, it's 5-1. Wolfpack, we'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back to Bemis Point, New York, where the CSP Wolfpack lead the Maple Grove Red Dragons by a score of 5-1 to one through three innings. CSP in here in the top of the fourth is going to bring Caden Beckerink and then back to the top of the order. So Caden Beckerink, Austin White, and Bryce Hinsdale. Well, Kyle, I hope I didn't break our mojo here because I took my sweatshirt off. So yeah, if, that's if, good. if we start doing poorly, guess what? It's going back it's on. Going back on. And I'll sweat through it. Yeah. There is there is a nice little breeze this morning that's keeping the temperature, I would say, down. Otherwise, it would be. Yeah. Be a nice day. It's a, it is a nice day anyways yeah, compared nice, to what we've seen in the last six or seven. Nice spring day. <laughs> And the sun's allowing things to dry out, which is helpful. And first pitch of the inning is outside for ball one. But that means you and I spend the afternoon on a mower. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe a golf course later. Who knows? Ball inside for ball two. CSP would like to add some insurance runs here as we get to the latter half of the game. Oh, boy. These these umpires seem to hesitate <laughs> when do. they make <laughs> calls. They do. That one there, he, the catcher was already throwing it back to the pitcher before he called it. So that was called a strike. So two balls and one strike, and that one's on the inside part for ball three. So Caden Beckerink, who's got plenty of speed, would be nice to get – as leadoff runner, if we could, here in the fourth. That ball and four. ball's high and outside. So just like that, CSP has their first base runner of the inning, and Coach Panis wants to pay a visit to the mound, have a little discussion. Luther's made it through three innings here. Gone deep in the count on a fair number of batters, so. All as right, Austin, we need to break out of this thing you're in right now. As we said earlier, CSP a couple weeks ago beat Maple Grove 8-5 to five over in Climber.
Not the quickest game in the world, Pat. Giving your lawn more time to dry out. And there's strike number one to Austin White, a senior from Climber, who pitched a very efficient four innings on Thursday night and then found some trouble in the fifth. And there oh, nice he attempts to put the bunt down, but it's foul. So good idea to get the runner in scoring position. But now Austin down early, no balls and two strikes. So. And I do like it when a left-hander bunts because he's got those extra steps already towards first yep, base. You that's know? right. So. And he was pushing that towards third. Third baseman wasn't coming, so Nash would have had to go make that play. Would have been close. Ooh, and there's a foul ball trying to hit his dad down the first base line. And stays alive. No balls and two strikes. And there's a well-hit ball to right field. The right fielder is getting underneath it, and it's going to get over his head. And so that is going to be E9, I think, Pat. And You know what, Kyle? I'm going to give Austin a hit. There you go. Good. Yeah, I'm going to give him a hit. In it was book. well hit. It was a well-hit ball to right field and got just over his head. So And Caden did the right thing. He went halfway to see what happened there so that he didn't. Yep. You know, so he could get the second very easily on that. So that's going to make runners at first and second with no outs here. And Bryce Hinsdale singled back in the second, either you know, second or third inning. And that's going to be a bunt and comes up and Bryce does his job. Yep. Advances the runners. Maple Grove gets the out, but Hinsdale advances the runners from first and second to second and third, and that's going to bring Gabe Roth to the plate. Oh, and that ball is going to get by him, and Caden Beckering is going to cross the plate. That's going to make it 6-1 to one Wolfpack, and that's going to advance Austin White to third. And that might be the defense of why you may not necessarily bunt Pat to get advanced to runners because in high school you've got a fair number of times that the ball gets to the backstop rather than get, giving up the out. Good stop there by Brisky to keep Austin at third. One ball and one strike. To Gabe. 6-1 now CSP here in the top of the fourth. And there's a ground ball to short, and he's going to come up throwing, and good stretch at first base by McPherson, and that's going to be out number two, but that's a RBI for Gabe Roth as Austin White crosses the plate to make it 7-1 to one Wolfpack. Trent Burchanowski comes to the batter's box, number Four hitter for the Wolfpack. And he looks at strike one at the knees on the first pitch. Base is empty here with two outs. And there's strike number two on the outside part. It's off the plate, but it's been a strike all day yeah. for both teams. So that's correct. 
staying consistent, which is what you want. So Trent finds himself down early here. And there's a high foul ball down the left field line that's going to get out of play. Hit the pavement and roll downtown, downtown Bemis. Yep. Yeah. Almost made it to the lake. Going to go have lunch at the Caesar House, that ball. <laughs> right? Are any of those restaurants in Bemis open yet, Pat? Oh, I believe they are. Are now. they? Yeah. Yeah. Here's the one, two to Trent. And again, foul down the third base line. So Trent way out in front of these pitches. Yeah, that was a good pitch, and that's just on the outside part of the plate. Ooh, that's a tough one to watch right there. Tough one to watch. One ball and two strikes. He's been calling that one about four or five inches out. Yeah. That one was about six or seven. And Trent looks at the curveball and fouls that back to stay alive. One ball and two strikes. Good at bat here for Trent Burchanowski. I see the the two starting pitchers are over here conversing on what they're throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Tate asked Nash, did you just throw a knuckleball? And Nash says yes. Here's a one, two. And that ball's low. That's what you gotta love about high school sports around here. It two gets, balls and two they strikes. They compete against each other, but they also are yep. you know, pretty friendly with each other. They all seem to know each other. Yeah. That's, that's what social media does too, Pat. Yeah, that's true. A lot easier to communicate with people on social media. <laughs> two and two here to Burchanowski. And there's a pop-up that's going to get out of play. Brent's staying alive. He's yep. making him work. Making him work. If they were worried about Nash's pitch count, Brent, uh, Trent's getting it up there for him. <laughs> yeah. Two balls and two strikes. And Trent stays alive. That was high and inside, but he fights it off. Right off the handle of the bat. Seven one CSP here in the top of the first. Two outs, bases empty. And there's another foul ball down the third base line. Going to run out of baseballs here. Well, at least we're in an area where they can all be retrieved. Yeah, there are no woods. Except for that one that went downtown in Bemis. <laughs> Some little kid will probably run up to Trent after the game and have him sign that yeah, one. Yeah. There's oh. the ball outside oh. Oh. for ball three. So full count here to Trent. It's a fun at bat to watch. Yes, Pat. it is. Maple Grove pitcher moving the ball around. Trent following balls off. And here's the payoff pitch. And he hammers it to center field, and that's going to drop in, get to the fence. Trent's on his way to second. And that's going to be a stand-up double for Trent Burchanowski. That was one heck of an at-bat right there, Pat. And uh, sometimes the pitcher wins, sometimes the batter wins. The batter won there. That was a heck, heck of a battle between those two. And 
Maybe Trent got those, uh, <laughs> got that little extra practice on Thursday night. Pat might have. And he got a little extra practice right there, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. All right, here's starting pitcher Tate Katniss, who can help himself out with a base hit. And there's a pop Could fly. be trouble. Could be it's trouble. It's going to be trouble, and it's going to be out of play. So foul ball. Yeah. Foul ball. That was real close to being a blooper. A blooper. A blooper. To left field, but so no balls and one strike to Tate. Trent's aggressive and has a lot of speed at second, so. And there's a pass ball that's gonna advance Trent from second to third. One ball and one strike. There's ball low and outside. Two balls and one strike. Two outs, runner at third for the Wolfpack. Luther trying to get through this fourth inning. And there's a ball in the dirt, good stop by Brisky behind the plate to keep Trent at third. Because I'm standing here looking at it. If I was Nash, I'd ask that umpire to brush that plate off. God, yeah, it's, it's hard to see. see. It, I to agree, see. it is hard to see. And if I was Tate, I wouldn't bang on it at all to get any dirt off of it. <laughs> There's a ball in the dirt, and that's going to get past the catcher, and that's going to score Trent. So base on balls. Now and he's that's going. now he's going to steal. So Tate's going to make his way to second. So now score eight to one for CSP. Tate Catney's with the walk who on the that pass ball. ball. The first baseman, Kyle. I don't know. Anybody know who threw that ball? Oh, he threw it. Okay. Catcher threw it Catcher first. Threw it. Okay. All right. So two outs here still. Runner on second, and Grant Lictus is going to come to the plate. Good swing there by Grant. No balls and one strike. Good swing and but a miss there. So Grant down early, no balls and two strikes. Tate Katney's at second base after reaching on the walk and advancing on the errant throw. Grant asked for time. And there's a ground ball to second, and he's going to come up throwing. And All right, he made contact. That's nice. Yep, good, good contact good by it. Grant. Uh, that's going to be out number three. So CSP strands one in the top of the fourth, and they get six across the plate to make it eight to one as we head to the bottom half of the fourth inning. We'll be right back after 
we pay some bills. Funding for this Channel 989 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball on Channel 98.9. I'm Kyle Hinsdale, joined by Pat Katniss today. And we want to thank our sponsors who you've been listening to uh, in between innings. Uh, without their support, we would not be able to do this and bring games to folks on the radio and out of town. So really appreciate uh, their support. And if you are in and around a sponsor we ask that you patronize their organization and uh, purchase something and uh, to show uh, show your appreciation for our sponsors so CSP with an eight to one lead here in the bottom of the fourth and we're gonna see batters eight nine and one for the Maple Grove, Maple Grove Red Dragons from Dutch Hollow Road. And Tate Catney's today's starting pitcher is going to get the call back to the mound for the fourth inning. He's been very efficient through three. No substitution changes in the infield so far for the Wolfpack looking to rebound after a loss on Thursday night to Brockton. That ball is in the dirt for ball one. It's number eight, Lombardo. And there's a strike on the outside part for strike one, one and one. Lombardo with a, a single I believe an RBI single. Maybe not, just a single. He might have had an RBI, but. There's a curveball that broke just before the plate for ball two. Either way, we know he had a single. Yeah, that's correct. Two innings ago. And there's a foul ball. Fairway hit on that foul ball. Two balls and two strikes to the first batter of the inning for the Red Dragons. And there's a high fastball, so ball three. So full count here to Lombardo. Pat Tate's like liking the three two count today yeah, I know. going deep into counts on a lot of guys and there's one right down the middle of the plate for strike three so this might be his last inning one Kyle. batter one strikeout for tate here in the top bo bottom of the fourth and that's going to bring number 11 ost 
to the plate. He struck out at his last at bat. And there's strike number one. So Tate finding his groove here a little bit. Two more of those right there would be good. And there's a curve ball that curved way late. One ball and one strike. And there's a foul ball. foul ball down the third baseline. Kind of a pitching wedge swing there, Pat. Ball was low and inside. One ball, two strikes to Ost. Number nine hitter for Maple Grove. And there's a foul down third baseline. So Oates doing a nice job of staying alive here. I think I'm coming here with a curveball, Pat. Think so? I think so. Here's the one, two. And that's exactly what it was. And that ball's foul down the left side, or right side. So. One ball, two strikes. There it is. And there oh was curveball that Sorry, must have been low. So <laughs> two balls and two strikes. Look very good from here, Kyle. Yep. Now you come back with some heat. High heat. And that's exactly what that was. And that is. A, and two Up again. above the number, so three balls and two strikes. Full count to Ost here in the bottom of the fourth. And there's a ball four, so Ost gets on. And that's going to bring leadoff hitter Nash Luther to the plate. Today's starting pitcher for Maple Grove. One out here in the bottom of the fourth, eight to one, Wolfpack. There's a curveball that curved, but just inside for ball one. Got him. Yeah, they got him. There's a pickoff of number 11, Ost, back at first base. So good job by Tate. Good tag by Bryce. And they get him sleeping at first, and that's going to be out number two of the inning. Much needed pickoff there, Pat. Yep. And there's a nice curveball in for a strike. One ball, one strike. There's a 1-1, one, one. and there's a ground ball to second. Trent uh, oh, not able to make nice the play. Try. Good try. So single for Luther, and that's going to bring Oops. McPherson to the plate. Big first baseman for Maple Grove. That was the second play today where Trent tried to, there's a swing and a miss for strike one. Um, that's the second play today, Pat, where Trent's had to show his range a little bit. I thought he well, had that one. Yeah, I, I thought he did too. That one actually might have been an easier play path than the first yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> he covered a lot of ground there at second base. Does a great job over there. Tate, no balls and one strike here to the batter. 
Nash Luther at first with two outs. And there he goes. And oh, Grant. Grant not able to make the exchange from glove to hand. And so Luther is going to get a stolen base. And that puts a runner in scoring position for the Red Dragons. One and one here to the batter. And there's a swing and a miss on an inside pitch. One ball, two strikes. See if Tate can do this on his own here. You might be right, Pat. This might be this might be the last inning for Tate. I don't know what we got. And there's a ball hit right at Trent for out number three. So a line drive by McPherson that Trent didn't even have to move on for out number three. So the Red Dragons strand one, eight to one, Wolfpack after four. We'll be right back. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholish Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at catholishpallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholish Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Welcome back to Bemis Point, New York, where CSP Wolfpack lead eight to one after four innings. You're gonna see hitters seven, eight, nine for the Wolfpack. And we've got a pitching change for the Maple Grove Red Dragons. Nash, Nash Luther is gonna go four innings today and hand the ball over to, I think, McPherson. Yep. yep, McPherson. So he moves from his first base spot to the mound. CSP likes, would like to add some insurance runs here. Yeah, we've got a little activity in the bullpen, Kyle. And we've got, um, so as we look ahead to the upcoming week, Pat, I think CSP plays uh, Monday night, right? Monday night at home against Pine Valley. Tuesday night at home against Casadega Valley. Thursday night away at Westfield. Hold on one second. And Thursday night we're... At, at Westfield, yep. Saturday, we're away at Chautauqua Lake. Am I correct in saying all that? You got it. Nicely done. So two straight weeks of breakfast with the Wolfpack. Correct. Yeah. Instead of breakfast at Wimbledon, <laughs> breakfast with the Wolfpack. And both of them are in Lake communities, Chautauqua yep. Lake and Bemis. So. Yep. Maybe if we say breakfast with the wolf pack enough, maybe people will bring us breakfast while we're broadcasting, you think? 
The crowd says no. No, we're not getting a lot of positive feedback no. on that one. No. Did Pam ever write back and tell us what time it was in Barcelona, Spain? I don't think she did. We never got confirmation on what time it was in Barcelona, Spain. We should probably just ask Siri. I trust Pam more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first pitch for McPherson was a ball. And second pitch is in for a strike on the inside part of the plate. So one ball and one strike to Blake Copta for the Wolfpack. And that ball is on the outside part of the plate for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Big swooping curve that's just on the outside for ball two. There's a 2-2, two -two. and there's a ball out of play down left field line. Blake made good contact there. Two balls, two strikes. And there's curveball in for strike three. So first batter that McPherson faces gets a strikeout, and that's going to be out number one of the inning, and that's going to bring Drake DiDomenico to the plate. The ball didn't curve. That's uh, ball one. It's 5.53 p.m. in Barcelona, Spain. Six hours ahead. No. Yes. Dinner time. There's strike there, so two balls and two strikes. One out here, nobody on in the top of the fifth. Eight to one, Wolfpack. And there's a curveball called a strike. Ball looked a little high, Pat. Yeah. I think by the time it got to the catcher, it was in the strike in the zone, zone, but right. I'm not sure it was in the strike zone when it crossed, but. And there's another curveball. He throws a lot of curveballs. Full count to Drake DiNominico. Number eight hitter for the Wolfpack. And there's a swing and a miss for strikeout number two of the inning. So two quick outs here in the top of the fifth. And Caden Beckerink, today's right fielder and number nine hitter for CSP is going to step into the box. The ball is outside for ball one. There's a swing and a miss, strike one. One ball, one strike. Different type of pitcher than what they've seen the first four in yes. here, Pat. Yeah. Bigger kid, throws a lot of curve balls. Maybe fastball's got a little bit more speed than what they saw through the first four. Oh. Uh, there's a swing and a miss. So McPherson comes in and strikes out the side. After four and a half innings, it's Wolfpack eight, Red Dragons one. We'll be right back. 
Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack! from Countertop Solutions. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Clymer. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. And welcome back where CSP leads by a score of eight to one as we enter the bottom half of the fifth inning. CSP pitcher, starting pitcher, Tate Katniss is gonna get the ball to start this fifth inning. I have to believe he's on a short leash here, Kyle. Yeah, we'll see. Possibly, we did see some activity in the bullpen. But with an eight one lead and Tate being in command, no reason to take him out. I don't know where he's at from a pitch count standpoint, but he'll have a few days rest. He's going to face number three, four, five hitters for the Red Dragons. And there's a curveball on the outside for ball one. This is number 18, McCall. Stepping to the plate. Balls inside, so down early, two balls and no strikes. Still got his velocity, Pat. Yeah, yeah. I'm worried about the accuracy now. And there's one that finds the strike zone, so two balls and one strike. And there's a curveball that was pretty good, but just short of the plate. So three balls in one strike. And there's the uh, siren to mark noon, I think. So it's now lunch with the Wolf Pack. There's a strike for Tate. So. Surprise, surprise, full count to a batter. See if Tate can do this on his own. Either make him a hitter or strike him out, one of the two. And there's strikeout number one. That ball is on the right on the outside part of the plate that's been a strike all day long. And nice job of pitching there by Tate Catney's. And that's going to bring Brisky, number 10, to the plate for the Red Dragons. Maple Grove players have some walk-up music today. Good stop there by Grant. One ball, no strikes. And there's a pitch on the inside, so 2-0 and oh to Brisky. Playing catcher today for the Red Dragons. And there's a strike on the outside part for strike one, two balls and one strike. 
it's a great place if you can be a pitcher, Pat. It's a great place to be living right there because yeah. it is real difficult to hit that pitch. And there's a foul, foul ball out of play for strike number two. So two balls and two strikes. Looks like the golfers are going to get it for us. Yep. Yeah. There's the 2-2 two -two to Brisky. And that ball's outside for ball three, so full count to the batter. A lot. Takes a lot, a lot of, of full counts. A lot of full counts. Going to have to pack him with ice tonight, I think. <laughs> One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Yeah. And that ball's outside, so Brisky gets on base with a walk. And that's going to bring Garrett, number 21, to the plate. Playing third base for the Red Dragons today. Looks like we're going to have a pinch runner. Number 20, Cornell, is going to be pinch runner for Brisky. Put a little, Coach Panis looking to put a little bit more speed on the bases here as we get to the later in the game. Try to get the guy at first. Good stop by Bryce to keep that ball from getting to right field. One ball, no strikes. And there's a strike at the knees for strike one. And there's a check back to first. Called safe. Kate, Tate with one pickoff already today, trying to get number two. There's the one one. Big curve. Big Boy. curve that Woo. either looked like a strike or looked like something that Garrett might have wanted to swing at, but neither happened. So two balls and one strike. CSP leading eight to one here in the bottom of the fifth. And there's a foul ball down the first base sides. So two balls and two strikes. And the high fastball that Garrett fights off for a foul, so stays at two balls and two strikes. I wouldn't be surprised if Tate and Bryce have a little something cooked up here because that guy is leading quite a ways off. Nope. And there's a swing and a miss for strikeout number two of the inning, so Tate still firing some heat. And that's going to bring number five, Connor Regal, to the plate for the Red Dragons with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Runner at first base. And there's strike number one, so... Tate still grooving it. One ball, no balls and one strike. Ball high for one and one. Yeah. 
Yeah, this might be the time right here, Kyle. Oh, no. What's and that? that ball's foul off. Just missed the vehicle. We have our second international viewer of the day today coming from Morocco, Pat. Wow, they are really reaching out to hear our voices, aren't they? Strike they three. Are. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Tate struck out the side here in the bottom of the fifth. And CSP is going to take an eight to one lead to the sixth inning. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Paladin Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting in all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Clymer. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. CSP Wolfpack Baseball here on Channel 98.9 and Facebook Live. We're broadcasting live today from Bemis Point Elementary School where the CSP Wolfpack have an 8-1 to one lead here in the top of the sixth over the Maple Grove Red Dragons. CSP is going to bring one, two, three hitters in the lineup to the plate. Austin White. Bryce Hinsdale, Gabe Roth. In the top of the fifth, McPherson, a relief pitcher for Maple Grove, came in and struck out the side. So CSP looking to get bad on the ball here. Austin got himself a base hit in the fourth inning and scored a run, so. Yeah, that was the deep ball to yes, left, right field. That's correct. Yeah, yep. he hit it really good. All right, the ball low or ball one. Ball's in the dirt, so two balls and no strikes. And Brisky wants to have a talk with his pitcher. <laughs> Two balls and no strikes. And there's ball number three. So three pitches here in the top of the sixth. Three balls. So Austin ahead. Would imagine he's going to have the red light here. Yeah, ball four. And that's ball four. So four straight pitches, four straight balls, and CSP gets their leadoff runner on here in the sixth. And that's going to bring number two. Bryce Hinsdale to the plate. Dog, 
Think Tate gets the top of the bottom of the six, Pat? I don't. I don't know. I, guess. I think I he does. I think he was efficient enough in that fifth that I think he comes back and. I didn't think he would get the fifth. See if Bryce can find a hole in this defense somewhere. Got speed at first base with Austin White and. There is ball number one to Bryce. Five straight balls now to CSP batters. And this is the one time where you would probably be okay with Bryce watching first pitch strike. And there's one right down the middle. So one ball and one strike to the Panama sophomore. And there's a ground ball to second. He's going to come up to throw, and that's going to be out number one of the inning. Bryce advances the runner from first to second after a lazy ground ball to the second baseman. Just not making good contact. And that's going to bring Gabe Roth to the plate. With Austin White at second. And there's a ball outside for 1-0. and oh. See if Gabe can hit one right on the sweet spot of this bat and send it somewhere. And there's a nice curveball in for a strike to even the count at one. There's nobody really watching Austin at second, so. Oh, there comes the shortstop over. Big curveball there. Big curveball on the outside for ball two. Two balls and one strike. Austin's got a good lead at second. There's a ball in the dirt. Good stop by Brisky, but he's not able to find it. Austin stays at second. And that's going to make the count three balls in one strike. This game has come to a snail's pace, to be honest with you, Pat. Yes, you're correct. So. And ball four. A ball in the dirt for ball four. So two walks here by McPherson in the top of the sixth, and CSP's got runners at first and second. And that's going to bring big hitting Trent Burchanowski to the plate. Trent with a great at bat, his last at bat, really worked the pitcher, a good battle between him and the pitcher, and he was able to get a stand-up double with a gapper between center and right. See if he can repeat that. And there's a strike at the knees for strike one. Got a lot of speed on the bases. So base hit more than likely scores at least one here. Gabe Roth at first, Austin White at second. And there's a well hit ball to left field and that one might be over the fence, Pat. And it's just at the base of the fence. So that's gonna score Austin White and Gabe Roth. And for the second straight at bat, Trent Burchanowski gets a stand up double. And he has all of a sudden found his little groove at the plate, which is going to be a massive help for the Wolfpack as we get later here in the year. And that's going to make the score 10 to 1. 
That ball must have hit that warning. They have a warning track out there. It must have hit that and just stuck right there. Yeah, I thought it. Because it looks I, like the left fielder struggled to get it out of out. I think it hit right at the base of the oh, did fence, it? Pat. Yeah. And so. Um, pitching change. That's going to make for a pitching change for the Red Dragons. McPherson is going to go probably back to his traditional first base spot. And that's going to bring a new pitcher in for the Maple Grove. So we'll, as they take a break, we'll take a break as well. We'll be right back after these messages where CSP now leads 10 to 1. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back where CSP leads 10-1, to 1, and they're going to now face their third Maple Grove pitcher of the day. There's a swing and a miss and a stolen base for Trent Burchanowski. So a lot of action early here as we come back from break. Trent uh, with a RBI, two RBI double, stand up double that makes it 10 to one and that resulted in a pitching change. Uh, Lombardo comes in for Maple Grove and there is Strike number two, so no balls and two strikes hmm. to starting pitcher for CSP, Tate Catney's looking to maybe help himself here. And there's Stay a pitch alive. that he stays alive on. infield playing in and there's a ground ball foul down the third base line and I'm suspecting Pat that now that we're in the fifth inning that we're playing infield in because CSP gets a run this might be this might be infield in and it's no balls and two strikes to Catney's and there's a little blooper to left field and that's going to fall so there's an RBI single for Tate Catney's, and that's going to make it 11 to 1. Wolfpack. And that's going to bring Grant Lictus to the plate with one out here in the top of the sixth. Tate didn't necessarily hit that all that hard, Pat, but he found a hole. Yep, yep, dropped her in there. And there's a good swing. And there's pitch on the inside part of the plate called strikes, so no balls and two strikes. Got one out, right? The junior yep. from Climber, one out.
One ball, two strikes. And there's a ground ball to the shortstop. Good job by Grant. There's a long throw, and he's going to get him. But good contact, bat on the ball there for the second straight at bat for Grant. And that's going to be out number two of the inning. It does advance the runner from first to second. So Tate Catney's now sitting at second base and in scoring position for Blake Copta. Blake hit the ball hard last time. And the strike on the outside part of the plate for strike number one. Ball in the dirt. Ball in the dirt. Tate's going to third, and he's going to slide in safely. And he's going to call time. Ball got away from the catcher. So now pass ball is going to score a run with a CSP runner at third. And that's a ball high. Uh, there's a pop-up. It's going to get... Out of play. So two balls and two strikes to Copta. Runner at third with two outs. Big curve. Big Hits curve. Dirt right in front of him. He kept it in front of him. Yep. Good, good block by the catcher there to save a run. And that's going to bring it a full count. Here's the payoff pitch and fights that off and that's gonna be foul. So Blake stays alive. Almost hit the Panama school bus. Boys are begging for it to hit the bus. I don't know why. Trying to find a ball. Looks like we found a couple of them now. Yeah, this is a nice place. You can't lose them. Full count here to Copta. And that ball is in the dirt, Tate. and that's going to score Tate. And so that's going to make it 12-1, to 1, the Wolfpack, and... Blake Copta is going to find himself at first base with two outs here in the sixth. And Drake DiDomenico is going to come to the plate. And they throw over to first check on Blake. Nice to see Drake get a hit here. Yep. Going right down the middle of the plate for strike one. And there's the same spot, strike number two. So Lombardo up early here on D Domenico. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. So CSP strands one, but they get a couple across the plate to make it 12 to one. Wolfpack after five and a half. We'll be right back after 
these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 SportsStream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 SportsStream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002 or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Clymer Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Clymer area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClymerHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Clymer Hardware and Home Center. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Clymer. Online at LandProEquip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Welcome back to Bemis Point Elementary School where the, your CSP Wolfpack lead the home team Maple Grove Red Dragons by a score of 12 to 1. So three, CSP three outs away from getting the 10 run rule if they're able to hold them to zero. And we have a pitching change after going five strong innings for Tate Catneys. We're going to see senior Trent Burchanowski on the mound. Trent getting his first action of the year here. And there's a ball inside. It's going to be foul ball down the first baseline. So nice efficient outing by Tate today, Pat. Giving up, giving up the only one run. Got to got to full count on a lot he of did. batters. Threw a lot of pitches. A today. lot of batters, but he made his way out of it. And there's strike number two. So no Where balls and two strikes. Where did they put Tate? So now Tate moves to second. Oh, okay, there he is. It's just a flop of Trent and Tate. Okay. And Trent's up early. No balls and two strikes. And that ball high at the numbers was called strike three. So Trent with one batter, one strikeout here in the bottom of the six, and that's going to bring. And there's strike number one. So Trent coming in, not seeing action all year, and he's throwing strikes. And there's a high pitch that's fouled off. So no balls and two strikes to Lombardo. I'm glad to see Trent on the mound get a little action in here. Yeah, gives us know. another arm, right? Yeah, Matt? we didn't know if we were going to have him this year to do this. Oh, hit and by a there's pitch. a curveball that curved real late and hit by pitch. So. Uh, Red Dragons get their first last inning and then got picked off on first. And there's a little hit and run. Dribbler back to the mound, and that's going to be out number two. Ost advanced the runner, but at this point in time, that's not a lot of help for Maple Grove. They do get a runner in scoring position. And that's going to bring leadoff hitter for Maple Grove to the plate. And today's starting pitcher, Nash Luther, with two outs, runner on second. And that ball is going to get by Grant. That was a curveball, I think, that maybe Grant was not expecting. 
I think he was expecting a fastball, and it was curveball. So either way, Maple Grove now has runner at third base with two outs. And any pass ball now will score a run. There's a ball high for one and one. Oh, jeez, that ball was inside. I thought it was going <laughs> to. Yeah. And that's it, folks. And they were trying to steal home. Lombardo was trying to steal home and was unsuccessful. So threw him out at home plate, and that's going to end the inning. So CSP. Did CSP have 12 or 13, Pat? I uh, have 12. 12, that's what I thought. So CSP with a six inning, 12 to one victory here on a beautiful Saturday morning in Bemis Point, New York. A Little bit of an odd way to end the game, but you know what, Pat? Maybe it was a fitting way because this game had a little bit of everything. <laughs> A lot of everything. And, like that one uh, inning we scored two or three, uh, two runs there in the second inning. There was nothing, like I said, nothing conventional about any way we scored there. Yeah. It was all very odd plays. Um, but uh, the boys had some spirit today. You know, they could, they came in here and were ready to play. And unlike the other night at Brockton, yeah. you know, they played. They hit the ball. Everybody got up there wanting to hit the ball. Um, outfield and infield played great, I think. I don't know if we had an error. I don't believe yeah, we did. Yeah, I don't think we did. And, um, and to your point, Pat, what we did today that we didn't do probably on Thursday night was we put the ball in play and made Maple Grove have to play defense. And, right, right. And, uh, and so good job by uh, CSP hitters today and uh, really nice outing by uh, sophomore Panam from Panama Tate Catneys who went five strong innings giving up only one run and uh, against a uh, formidable opponent uh, particularly batters one through one through four maybe even one through five so uh, good job by Tate today and nice to see Trent come in and provide uh, a save opportunity yes. yep. uh, getting his first uh, action on the mound and he looked uh, there was some uh, injuries early in the year with Trent and his maybe forearm and he um, put that to rest today with a nice uh, one inning of, of uh, pitching so my, CSP by my count Tate had nine strikeouts today. nine strikeouts almost got to double digits so. yeah, and everything was on three and two counts I believe <laughs> yes <laughs> So uh, CSP uh, rebounds nicely from a loss Thursday night and get back in the win column. Uh, we now head next week to uh, where we play Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday Thursday. Thursday, Saturday. And so a busy four-game week next week, and at least early on, uh, weather looks good for the beginning of next week. So I'd suspect that uh, – We'll have games, so we encourage you to tune in and watch as the CSP Wolfpack continue to fight their way through the regular season and getting ready for the playoffs. For Pat Catneys, I'm Kyle Hinsdale, CSP with a 12-1 victory here in against Maple Grove to get back in the win column. Thank you for listening. We'll see everyone Monday night. Have a good weekend. Thanks for listening to this broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Channel 989 Lick to Soil and Propane Sports Stream at channel989.org. This broadcast is presented by J. Edwards Insurance in Panama and Jamestown, Mosier Carpeting and Climber, Land Pro Equipment in Climber and Falconer, Calfish Pallet and Wood Services in Climber, The Cornerstone Restaurant in Sherman, Climber Hardware and Home Center.com, Triple E Manufacturing. Triple E MFG.com, Countertop Solutions, and by Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber, Lictus Oil and Propane.com. Tune in next time for all the action of CSP Wolfpack Baseball.